Hi there, everybody. This is Angoria here. Time to react to Nintendo Directs of June 21st, 2023. I'm not going to say anything for the intro. I'm just going to get right into it. Without autoplay. Let's go. Okay, we're getting some more Pokemon updates. Wonderful. Probably some update to the frame rate. <laughs> like so much shit that needs updating. Alright, more Pokemon. Oh, right, right, right. I got you, I got you. Just to warn you right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be pausing a lot on this video. Cause it looks like they're gonna introduce more DLC to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, as you can tell by the down window here, which I definitely should get rid of. Um yeah, it's gonna be like the whole Sword and Shield thing where there's gonna introduce DLC to hopefully add more content into the whole freaking game. So, well, yeah, that's kind of probably fitting anyway, but it's gonna cost at least like 40 pounds or something. That's what I think. Yeah, there's one for each version, of course. Of course. Yeah, again, it's gonna go for the whole um, Sword and Shield shtick, where they're gonna introduce new regions, new region-exclusive Pokemons and shit. But I'm just... I just really wanted to see him, like, update everything that was wrong with it at launch. Like, everything, instead of adding new content. Oh, we're getting new outfits. Lovely. Because it's, <laughs> it's Sakura Bloom season, boys. It's so Japanese, can you tell? I too would like to get a Pikachu mask. Everyone wants to be a Pikachu. And I guess it's gotta have like new forms. Okay, that's a threat, looks like. Oh, new gym. That looks like a new gym, actually. Oh, it's Academy. Right, got ya. That's part two. So part one is just mostly an island that has a Pokemon on the side of it, you have to solve the mystery. And part two is literally, yo, I'm in school. I'm in Pokemon school now. Sounds like a, uh, you know, a normal anime high school anime. I wonder how many people will actually give a shit about this kind of story. Yeah, it's got like, uh, new arenas for like, different types of Pokemon. Gotta keep the game alive somehow. Oh, good old crystal forms. I think that's a new form they added for the DLC, I think. Ah, shame is no double rainbow. Ah, <laughs> big sad. And of course it has its own other mystic, 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 mystical Pokemon in it. Because the other one looks like a freaking... Um, it's got like a giant umbrella underneath its chin. And it, and it has like Zelda Triforce triangles. Like, you can't hide me with that Hello, shit. Hello everyone, I'm Shinya Takahashi. And I'll be one of your guides for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi. And I also didn't talk about what we just saw in the whole fucking. That was the latest trailer for the hidden treasure of Area Zero, the paid DLC for the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. It's gonna be like forty dollars at least. The first half of the trailer took place at a festival in the countryside, while the second half seemed to be in a completely different location, a futuristic academy in the middle of the ocean. More details on this DLC will be available in the future. It won't stick by the Titanic. And after today's Nintendo Direct, a special event will be held in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. All right, that's cool. I hope you'll participate in it. Okay, let's see our first batch of headlines. Uh, it's a good thing they didn't delve too much into the Pokemon DLC aspect of it. 
It's a supersonic squad. I like how this was announced stars. at Summer Game Fest. It's actually a really looking, good looking Sonic game to look at. Because it's going to introduce like um, forgotten Sonic characters that were in like fighters well, and triple trouble. Like Fang the Sniper. Speed through beautiful worlds as Sonic. That's pretty cool. Take to the skies as Tails. Scale walls and glide. Also, oh, I think knuckles. this is like the third time Amy's been playable in the Sonic game. As Amy Rose. No, wait, the Sonic Adventure. I think Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes. Nah, I'm lying. It's not the third time. <laughs> but still, it's pretty cool to have included as a, as a playable character. Uncover hidden secrets. And so much more. I know people are going to call them gimmicks, but hey, Sonic's always relied on gimmicks. Does anyone remember the Red Hog? Like, come on, guys. Already, music fucking slaps. Combine your powers and take on I've already listened to that on Spotify. Eggman. When Sonic Superstars launches on the Nintendo Switch system this fall. Oh, I'm not gonna get much more information about Pegasus Cypher. Okay. Just around the corner. Welcome to Palea. In this free to play adventure sim. Oh, free to play, right. So it's gonna have microtransactions in there to keep the game alive and shit. And players from all over the world. I don't know, this is just my struggle when it comes to free to play games. It's never actually free. And of course, because it's live service, it's not gonna last very long. People are gonna like play on it. It's gonna last for like a year or two years tops, and then it just kind of fails. Because they're gonna be too busy playing Stardew Valley, which is the ultimate farming sim, as well as a life sim in general. Set off on a vast journey to uncover Palea's many mysteries, or just kick back. I think this is like originally a PC home. game. Not sure, but How it definitely looks like a PC game. Up to it's just optimizable to run what on the Switch. What kind of will you choose? I just downgrade it. Look at it. I can Palea see so many pop-ins every single time the character moves. That's just the Switch hardware to Switch in general. Holiday. I don't see myself playing that one. Ignite your heart. Yay, more Persona shit. Let's go. Oh yeah, I also saw this at uh, Summer Game Fest. It's like a tactical Persona 5 game. So we got Persona 5, Persona 5 Royal, uh, and now Persona 5 Tactica. Which is sort of like Q2? I should really get Q2 physical, but the copies of Q2 are so fucking expensive now. Like, why? I just want to collect games, not worry about my budget. From afar. Or using a persona. I kind of got off Persona because my Persona 4 save file got corrupted and that kind of put me off trying the series. But I need to get back to the Persona again just so I can just like get over my traumatic fear of having my save file corrupted. I suppose it's just a feeder. Ah, oh, team attacks. All right, cool. The fusion ability from the Persona series returns, allowing you to combine Personas to form other ones. What is arenas? Yeah, they had that in Persona 4 as well. That's pretty cool. I am no vow out I and I am vow. Revolutionary tale will ignite when Persona 5 Tactic launches. Yeah, that's something to uh, keep on my radar at least. This actually looks pretty cool. Pre-orders for the physical version. Also, because it, well, it's Atlas today. anyway. Please check your local retailers. Step into a Saturday morning cartoon. Calling all heroes for the first-person roguelike adventure, Myth Force. This looks free to play as well. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but it's got four player cards, so that's cool. Past. It's up to you to stop the evil Daedalus from taking over, but it won't be easy. Treacherous tombs and cryptic castles threaten your survival. Wield medieval weapons. I already got a Saturday morning cartoon game. It's called Saturday Morning RPG. Which is actually a very underrated game, and I think a lot of you should go try that out. It's on Steam still, but I must have played that like 10 years ago. It's still a good game to this day. Plus, up to four brave heroes can share the adventure in online co-op. Yeah, I got stuff for that. out at any time as you face the many perils ahead. By the power of teamwork. Get it? launches on the Nintendo Switch system this year. This Black Fest is going to uh, be I should totally get back to Splatoon 3. I kind of just kind of took a break off it because, I don't know. I'm just not very good at the game. Franken kind of like made my balls blue. I suppose this is just themed around uh, Pokemon probably again. Yeah, I, ju I should totally get back to it. Splatfest. Splatoon 3 game has been confirmed. Okay, squids, here's the theme. 
Which flavor oh, of ice, ice cream. cream is best? Vanilla, strawberry. Honestly, I know everyone's just gonna say fucking vanilla most of the time because it's just a safe, safe freaking flavor to go to. But sometimes I would go for like strawberry. I would say it's got a little bit more of a flavor side of it. But mint chip, nah, I can't stand mint chip. But just go strawberry all the way. But that's just my personal preference anyway for a guy who doesn't even eat that much ice cream. But yeah, the flat are kind of fun, especially when you try to take up in the middle when everyone's just trying to gank your asses. They're really fun. In uh, communities, but I think when you're doing it solo, you don't have to worry about like shanking and shit. There's a lot of competition at Splatfest, especially because there's like huge competitive players in the game. Always stick to like one fucking weapon, and I also hate the chargers. Like, fuck the chargers, guys. I just stick to mid range weapons because that's the only weapons I can tend to deal with these kind of games. Oh, we're going back to Pokemon again? Okay. Oh, this looks like. Nah, that's not Sword and Shield, is it? Going back to Sword and Shield, they're just gonna re-release it. An even stronger bond between the people and Pokemon of Prime City. Are they doing Detective I Pikachu 2? They okay, they're doing Detective Pikachu 2. What the fuck? Pikachu. <laughs> oh my god, I still have the original game on my 3DS, and I watched the movie, which isn't actually that bad. I can't believe they're actually doing a sequel to this. There's demand for this. Much for my car. Oh no 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 no! They're probably gonna re-release it for the Switch, the like updated graphically and shit. A light roast today, huh? <laughs> like one of the worst Pikachu's ever that doesn't do like Thunderbolt shit. It's just a normal looking ass Pikachu. But yeah, I mean the original game doesn't last that long. It'll take it at least 12 hours to complete, so it's not really a huge time sink. Of course, Mewtwo comes back. Nah, it looks like a remaster. There's no way they're gonna like make a sequel to this. The name's Pikachu, and I'm what you might call a great detective. Oh, it is a sequel. Okay. Okay. Bring me some coffee. I thought it was gonna be a remaster. I just gonna like slip out of the rug, but I'm glad to see that it's getting a sequel. Looks like he still loves coffee. What cases will Tim and this tough talking Pikachu Tim's all grown up now. He's gonna get loose. More info will be revealed in the future. Oh, you're not gonna rerun now? I mean, we got a release date. That's one thing to go off of. They're gonna say it's a sequel. Come on. Oh, we're getting a Super Mario RPG on the uh, Nintendo Switch Online. Whoa. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! They're remastering Super Mario RPG? Are you fucking kidding me? That is cool. They're gonna get Yoko Shimimura back to do the music again. That's pretty cool. I thought I thought they're actually gonna put it on NSO, but no, this is just like a complete remaster. Or a rehaul! That is pretty cool. Yo, Mario RPG fans are going nuts right now. Now me, I probably actually might try the game again. I couldn't try it on the SNES, because I don't even own a SNES. No, I don't want to pay for NSO. No, that is cool. That is cool. They're probably going to charge like full price for this thing, like uh, $60 for this kind of game. Should be a little bit lower, but that's just me. I mean, I tried like Mario RPG, um, I tried Paper Jam Bros, and that was my first Mario RPG game. And I heard that was like, not very good. But yeah, I enjoyed it at least, although it had some aspects that does need improving, like the combat, let's say. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping this one on my radar. It's just showing you like all the iconic locations that were in the original. I just like how they're mostly just like, punchy midgets. Then again, being an RPG, I wouldn't put it past it. I know a friend of mine who would love to see this return. Oh, we got a release date. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Originally there we are. released on Super A W Mets. for Mario RPG Super fans. Mario RPG returns with brand new graphics. Whether you played the original game and I think not, after that they're definitely gonna put it on the NSO store like the original game RPG in the Mario series Mr. Koizumi 
That last trailer featured Mario, but he's not the only one getting a game. Huh? What do you mean? Cuz one of the ever original side characters. Or Peach. So Peach is getting another game, guys. <laughs> I was gonna be thinking, oh, there's that guy who was split made out of the wood. Ah, fuck you, Nintendo. Ah, I feel so bad for you guys getting cut like that. Huh? Whoa. Oh, she's Cinderella now. What is happening? That's all we'll show and she turns to Bowser. Well done, guys. The meme is real. Mr. Koizumi, there's actually something else. What? Oh, are they put in Luigi Mansion? Enhanced version of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Oh, they put in the sequel from the 3DS onto the Switch. Is in development. We hope you look. Oh, we can tell it's in development because it's kind of like not polished as the 3DS version. Damn, I need to try the 3DS version actually to see if it kind of holds up. But that's cool. That's cool. Try and put code name Steam on the Switch. See if it sells better this time. Looks like Mario fans have a lot of games to look forward to. Watch it be Robo Splash. More details will be shared in the future. All right, let's see. Some All right, so more you're games. gonna put uh, Dark Moon on the Switch, but not Luigi Mansion One. Become I mean, not there's anything wrong with that, but I think uh, Luigi Mansion One also needs a port to the Switch. I think. Okay, Batman Arkham Asylum on the Wii U. Batman Arkham Asylum on the Switch. Hell yeah! <laughs> DC fans rise up. This is the beginning of the Didn't like the Wii version had like an exclusive uh, edition or something. You're all going but you get to control the map on your Wii U gamepad. What are you going to do it on here then? You still know how to make an entrance. Welcome to the Damn, Joker looking crunchy. Today is the Joker's there you go. How is this a big announcement? Batman- Oh, it's like a trilogy, it looks like. So it's Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Knight. Alright, so it's a trilogy on the Switch. Got you guys. I can't wait for it to say Cloud Version. Say Cloud Version. I like it. Say it's the Cloud Version, come on. would be ours. Over my dead body. I believe that was the idea. You gotta love how it runs like soup. I'm still waiting for it to say it. it's a cloud version. You're always welcome here. Batman Arkham Trilogy launches on Nintendo Switch this fall. Ah, oh, it doesn't say cloud version. Well, they're actually gonna put on the cartridge this time. That's all right. Cards right, mercenary. This looks like a skip. <laughs> cursed dungeons in the lands of Gloomhaven. Your tactical prowess is all that stands. Yeah, this definitely looks like a skip. And certain. Or maybe I'm just not big this into strategy games. My friend was telling me about um, battles with RPG Path of Exile, or was it? Oh, Mountain Blade. Combos, Mountain Blade. He says this has a really good drink game to get into. But beware, exhaustion is close at hand. I don't know why, every single time I watch gameplay on like a Nintendo Direct, it always looks so juggy. And master over 1, abilities. Sounds like I only have one complaint. Your deck, set up synergies, and gain every advantage to survive. Grit your teeth and earn your key. It feels like they kind of like use different two different types of on footage. That's one system, running on one console and then one running on the Switch. Pre-orders for the Mercenaries and Gold Editions begin today on Nintendo eShop. And let's hope it's not digital only. Keep the dance party going. Well, I am definitely skipping this one. Let's go to Silent Hope. Silent Hope lies in a world without words. All right, RPGs. This is good. I like RPGs. One day, a once peaceful realm was silenced by its king. Now, seven wordless warriors will. Yeah, rise. it's totally got that lost beer um, feel to it, and also RPG, anime cutscenes. These heroes bound by fate must ah, work yeah. together. To explore the abyss and find the secluded king. Oh, they're going for the maiden abyss route. Oh, it's like a dungeon crawler in a way. Okay, let's go. Conquering the abyss. Let's go. No easy feat. Wield weapons like swords, bows. All right, this might be my type of game. To survive this. Play as cute anime girls. And of course, cute anime boys. Materials you've collected 
will help you cultivate resources. Yeah, yeah. It feels like a uh, like a dungeon items. crawler in a way. That's Repeated definitely my kind of game. Into the abyss will enable you to grow stronger and dive deeper. I know people are going to be put off by this whole cute anime aesthetic, but it doesn't bother me. As long as there's a good story and gameplay, I'm Kingdom totally to it. Princess encased in a crystal of her own tears. And through a mysterious oh, wow. An power, RPG that has crystal themes. Okay. in the hearts of the silent warriors. Why did the king steal the world's words? And what awaits Can't wait for more news for it to get an anime events. adaptation. Because these anime cutscenes are like so fucking Nintendo dope already. Switch, wait a minute, it's like A1 Pictures? Sparks will fly in these Nintendo Switch games. All right, let's see what type of Switch games we got. Cast spells and cultivate your best life in Fae oh, Farm. Oh, it's Fae Farm. Yeah, I think I've already uh, seen this one. It's not really my kind of like my kind of game, I suppose. Zoom into wild racing Hot Wheels Unleashed 2. Hot Wheels Unleashed 2. This is kind of like Trackmania, but from over it's for Hot Wheels. Vehicles and pull off outrageous stunts to avoid obstacles. Find yeah, I think I used to own one of these games, the first one. Out of the way. It came with like a Lego car. No, it came with like a Hot Wheels car inside of it. Your own tracks. Race locally with friends yeah, this feels like more of a... Twelve players can hit the track yeah, I think it's just another version of track media. If you can't handle the real track media, try Hot Wheels Unleashed. There you go. October 19th. Get your chassis looking classy in Manic Mechanics. Ah, grab a part. This is like another four player kind of game that you can see on Steam. Repair vehicles quickly to earn points in solo play or four-player co-op. But watch out for treacherous pits, pesky UFOs. Yeah, because it's just like four-player co-op. I just got to see if it's got an offline co-op rather than just online. Because offline co-op would be really good for you today on Nintendo eShop. Introducing the second paid DLC for Mario Plus. Oh yeah, is this the one with Rayman in it? Mario and Yeah, I think this is the one with Rayman in it. That not many You'll people are excited about. I just want. I just want a new Rayman game. Come on. Enemies to battle. What else will they find in this world of melodies? This I should try DLC, Kingdom Battle last and see how that actually launches, fares out. Later Wasn't today. like fan art. There's one rabbit character who was like emo girl and shit. The main game is available now on Nintendo eShop. I can. I forget the names. <laughs> Ah, okay. This is Dragon Quest? This looks like Dragon Quest. Kiritoriyama design, don't lie. Oh, is this a Dragon Quest where you get to play as the villain? You intend to uh, I mean, arms against me? I mean, it makes sense, I guess. The only Dragon Quest games I played are seven. Only seven! And I kind of gave up around the first half, the third half of the fucking game, because I had to grind so much. Have to become a monster wrangler. Oh, Dragon Quest Monster Wrangler. All right, that's the name of the game. Yeah, yeah this ain't your grandma's Dragon Quest. Oh, so this is just Pokemon, but with... No, Pokemon Stadium, but with Dragon Quest. Look, there's even Armor Knight. Like, come the fuck on, you can't even hide your original designs. Okay, so it's just Pokemon X Dragon Quest. Just call it that. Because <laughs> it's so, so similar. Ah, the so-called hero is here. Oh no, it's the guy. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I played Dragon Quest to know what that is. That was Dragon Quest Monsters, the Dark Prince from Square Enix. I should play Dragon Quest Lemon S. What kind of journey will you take to become the master of monster kind? Please be on the lookout for more info in the future. Next, I like it. I don't delve into too much of those games. Plant-like creatures. Because I think they're gonna delve into Pikmin 4 next. Ah, oh, okay. So I think it's Pikmin 4 next. Because I think a lot of people are going to be demanding uh, more Pikmin 4 their info. The big fans, at Welcome least. But to the Rescue Corps. I've never played a Pikmin game, its so recruit, help me sell on this game. to a mysterious planet with all sorts of life forms. There, you'll meet plant-like creatures called Pikmin. And the adorable rescue pup, Ochi. Good boy. Oh, that's how it's uh, spelled. You choose to accept it. 
repair the damaged Rescue Corps spaceship, and save any castaways you find. All right, let's explore together. Once plucked, Pikmin are ready for action. Blow your whistle to gather them and have them follow you. Throw your little buds at things and they'll start working for you. Ochi will also prove to be a great canine companion. I'm starting to think that every single video game because it's got to have a dog. Carry I think that was always a thing in Pikmin. Just having a dog. Or is that a new addition to uh, Pikmin in, in general? And if you need a flotation device, well... Collateral damage! Civil disobedience! Go. Just what Pikmin Ochi needed. Even stand up to the wildest yeah, this dog is going to be like so OP throughout the course of the game. Collect lots of treasures oh yeah <laughs> the to fix references the radar love it open up new areas to explore exploration isn't limited to the surface though why not take the plunge underground here a completely different is this also um, a thing that pikmin has underground segments contraptions or is it just to add like a little bit more layers to the creatures gameplay i think just hard and mode. Underground is just hard mode. Every corner. You might unexpectedly find some castaways too. Oh, I was hey, thinking it's just out of a spectre uh, that's sort of multiplayer focused. This leafy individual just nabbed the castaway. You've got to stop him. It's time also, evil for the Dandori battle. Embrace the art of Dandori by strategically issuing commands to your Pikmin and Ochi. Collect this... more objects than your opponent. Oh, I was gonna say, is this two player? Limit to win or are you just gonna be in an AI? The castaway. By rescuing castaways, you'll be able to do more activities back at base camp, which is right next to your spaceship. Train Ochi and teach him new skills. All right, skill trees. <laughs> or build new Let's equipment go. and items to help make exploration more manageable. For the first time in the Pikmin series, you can eventually set out for night expeditions. But there's a catch. Night Difficulty spikes. Creatures into a frenzy, so stay alert. Thankfully, you'll come across the new Glow Pikmin, which only appear at night. Find luminols that produce value. Music's gonna appear in like disturbing video game music number 276. So use glow pikmin to drive them away and protect the luminols. It's kind of like when you listen to music of uh, someone but in general, planet. it's just fucked up. But with the pikmin and Ochi by your side, no challenge is too big or too small. Pikmin 4. All right, then. So it's pretty much you just control a bunch of lemmings. Pikmin games. You have That's the only connection I got into, though. Sundown. However, in this latest entry, you can now venture out at night. We hope you can lead the Pikmin on your expedition. We have even more Pikmin news to share. So remastered versions? Oh yeah, I was gonna say. Originally released. Yeah. Now I can try. Oh, so only one and two? And only the digital versions? Come on. No physical versions? I always be very disappointed when there's no physical version. And also no Pikmin three. So one and two, but no three. You know, you know that exists, guys. Or do I have to get a Wii U? Okay, let's see a few more headlines. The renowned oh yeah, series of Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> <games is infiltrating laughs> you Switch. know, I kind of freaked Metal out when they shut off the remake uh, trailer. I freaked the fuck this out, dude. Includes Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, they're bringing the old boys the back. Control of Shadow Moses Island. Metal Gear Solid 2, yeah. Sons of Liberty. I think locate and retrieve a deadly I just hope it actually uh, looks very good Metal on the Switch. Gear Solid 3, I, just, I just wish they actually put it to all platforms, but I think it's just a Switch version, so I just hope there's a PS4 mentor. version as well. You can also enjoy the games that started the series. Oh yeah, Metal oh yeah. Gear I think you used to play them on the Wii, Wii Virtual Console, but 
That's no longer a thing anymore. So get him again, fuckers! This compilation also contains oh, and even the graphic novel. Holy shit. Novel I never knew there was a graphic novel. I knew there was Peace Walk, which is sort of like a base graphic novel. Content includes screenplay books and I gotta commend Konami for um, being I mean, a really terrible company before. But one thing they know how to do is to make a really good collection. We've seen like the Castlevania collection. It's got like every single version of, Sky of every single Castlevania games. Uh, but with Metal Gear Solid... Um, they added, like, digital graphic novels, like, extra secret scenes and bonus artwork and shit. Like, really fleshing out the world of Metal Gear Solid and stuff that you didn't even know it had beforehand. So I think that's really good for them. I think, they, I wish they could only do this for, they could do this for Silent Hill as well, but they kind of botched that shit up. So they're trying to sort of get Silent Hill back into the good reputation stat status. But let's see how Konami tries to redeem itself after the whole shit that has happened. I remember there are tweets going around saying, listen, I know you like Konami's Silent Hill announcements and all. But just remember the fuck Konami phase, all right? Never forget. Your books with story right. and character info, strategy guides for each game. Yeah, so anybody can be cheated. Even the digital soundtrack, yo. Eat your heart out, Spotify. But that's Volume Mr. 1, though. So I think in Volume 2, how are they going to get MGS4 to run on the Switch? Because I think 20. it was having enough trouble running on the Xbox 360, so they kind of, like, canned it because it could only be played for the PS3. Oh, no, actually, it was... It was designed to run on the Xbox 360, but they think, oh, it's too ex expensive because we're going to have to make two discs. Like, really? Star Ocean 4 has two discs, but not Metal Gear Solid 4? Like, come on, guys. That's, that's probably why the reason they stuck with the PSP version, because they can make one Blu-ray disc to save themselves the cost. It's time to survive. Ah, right. Vampire Survivors. I forgot that game still exists. Vampire and it's actually not a bad game, I, from what I've heard. Do I forget one like an award for like best like debut indie game or something. God, I gotta try that game out on stream. Oh. And attack automatically with it has weapon. a new update, like 1.5 update. First, right? but swarms of increasingly if it's a, if there's a physical release for the Switch, then I'll be so happy. I can preserve this game forever. By getting but if not, it's always Steam and God. Enemies, or by leveling up. You'll acquire weapons and this is like a real big so game when it came out because we're so cheap Plus, and it's really addicting can now play together in okay four player co-op as well what there's always a theme when it comes to that in store. Find out when vampire survivors look at that there's so much shit on the screen Nintendo even the video is having trouble August 17th. oh so it looks like it's gonna be a physical Music game Music and pigeons sounds pretty cool boo you're a pigeon. Yeah, you heard that. Oh, right. so it's Hateful Boyfriend on the Switch. Okay. Play All right. I kind of got my head at myself there. To be the last bird standing. <laughs> so, Up to 30 players can ruffle Okay, each what? It's a, <laughs> it's a... It's a rhythm battle royale game. Like, God damn it, we're still not dead on the battle royale train, but we're going to add rhythm games into it. <laughs> Do that with Fiat that Rhythm. Musical mini game. Not dancing birds. Like, damn, dude. The leader's actions perfectly in. Yes, Commander. I'm totally gonna cheat this game. Fire a slingshot. <laughs> play music in. First piano shooter. This is a zany Racing game. Fly to the rhythm in. To the sky. And more. This is a zany game. Games, I might try this out. It just looks so zany time. to be true. Get ready to shake those pigeon tails. When headbangers rhythm okay, out of all like the look good looking indie games that are in the show that are in the, the showcase, this one kinda catches my interest the most. Like Fave Farm pfft, I can't even remember the other freaking games that that, that like, came out there. But Headbangers Rhythm Royale, that might be my game of choice. On like Switch, looks and gameplay alone. Universe. Like and it's releasing on Halloween. Come on, what a shit post. Ready, set, yo! Okay, I'm Penny not sure. is on the run, entangled in a chaotic audition. Ah, uh, it's giving me what? such PlayStation One vibes. I can't remember the game where you have to shake enemies. Oh, I can't remember what the name of the game is, Chaos but Spirit. man, it's giving me She's such vibes because of that. Some powerful enemies and a newly animated friend in this 3D platforming adventure. Yeah, I'll, I'll get this game out. It looks pretty good. You'll explore the platformers. We still need more platformers. This is good. This is a good addition to the channel. Henny and Yo Yo escape the clutches of the grouchy Emperor Eddie. Perform stylish <laughs> acrobatic tricks to avoid He's after them drop breakers. Pushy penguins. And that's a lot of pretties. Yo -Yo to protect Penny from foul play. 
You can also put your speed running skills yeah, to the Yeah, I'm going to feel like this is going to be a ripe one for speed running, I feel. Items, complete secret stages, and more. This is your big break, after all. Take the stage when Penny's big break Ah, uh, it's a shame that it's going to be releasing Switch next year, but I don't mind it. Year. I'm going to, like, keep an eye on this game. It definitely looks like a pick-me-up. Rev up for way Oh, wow. Five. They're still supporting Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I thought they literally forgot about it, but they're still supporting it. With all the light, the core step should have been the game to begin with, but hey, what do I know? Can you also add more boards to Mario Party Superstars? No? Okay, just five boards, that's fine. I'm pretty sure there'd be a Mario Kart Party Ultimate. And from Mario Kart Tour, Comet. Alright, so it's added more courses from like Mario Kart Tour Double Dash. Wave five. Okay, Mario, Mario Kart stands. <laughs> this is your moment. For the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game, Zoom it's like only to Nintendo three? Switch this summer. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack members can enjoy this DLC at no Can't believe I wasted money on this game just to play with a friend and never again. I need more friends. Two worlds. Oh, look at that! I recognize those two. Look at that! Glossy Kenny and Raina Lanford. Yo, let's go! It was supposed to be like a rumor that there was going to be like a Star Ocean 2 on the Switch. But I still have the original game right here. Star Ocean Second Evolution. Um, not the PS Station 1 version, because that's sort of like ancient in a way. But I got the remaster, remake kind of thing on the PlayStation Portable, which I can actually email it on PC to this day. So I want to see what it kind of go for this, because I heard this is like a report or a rumor that it's going to come to the Switch, but I'm like, ah, you know what, I kind of dismiss it. But it looks like it's actually going to be a thing. Second Star Ocean game Holy shit. Yo. 2D and Whoa. Oh my God. We're, go we're still going for the 2D HD thing. Oh my God. This actually looks better than the uh, PlayStation Portable version, because I think, is it the same guys that made Octopath Traveler and uh, Triangle Strategy? Because this lo this already looks so fucking good. And they maintained the uh, the sprites that were in the original version, just sort of like upscaled them. And also, um, it's a shame that it's not like animeified portraits and shit, although it does look a little bit clunky and shit. But I think if it's like hand drawn like that, I honestly don't mind it. I'm gonna have to like get used to it, but I do prefer like the anime portraits in this uh, version in particular because I don't really mind it. So I'm gonna have to get used to this Claude kind of version. On an undeveloped planet. There he meets I think Star Ocean 2 has like one of the best stories powers. in the Star Ocean universe. Was it fate or mere coincidence? Soon after oh, it has. I just noticed it has updated voice acting. Oh, oh maybe they're gonna like. Use the voice acting that was in Second Evolution, or they actually completely re-voice acting the entire thing. If that is the case, that is fucking cool. The two get entangled in a sinister And I bet it's voice actors. And I bet, I bet it's voice actors from Genshin Impact. Calling it right now. In this science, Jen last year's Rayla Lanford. Keep us, keep us That's fucking George Claude C. Kenny. <laughs> Even though he's 19. Oh, okay, okay. So I need to look at the menu a little bit. Through the story from their perspective. Okay, so you can actually change the voice types. It's from Second uh, Evolution. I don't see Second Story on there because I assume that there's not a lot of voice acting in Second Story, to be honest, except when you're doing battle dialogue and shit. But there is an option there. I think that's probably the only option. I originally thought there was going to be original, like, recasted voice actors in this game, but it turns out they're gonna you reuse the voice samples from Second Evolution, which is kind of disappointing, but oh well, I can't blame them, I guess. Yeah. I actually thought they're gonna recast everyone, see what they sound like, like, modernized life. and shit. During your adventure, the hero you chose and the decisions you make will have an impact on who And the weird thing about fucking Second Evolution is that every time you, sit, you hear, like, voice actors or voice samples in this game, it sounds terribly compressed. Like, every single time you hear or a p it sounds terribly compressed on the PlayStation Portable version. It's like, ah, oh, it just takes me out of it sometimes. Your cause. The enemy, is it? Battles take place in real time, and skills can be performed. Yo, rearrange musical tracks. Let's go. New combat features in this remake. Yo, enemies with chain attacks. Music slaps already, dude. Let's go. Your allies not in your current party unleash follow-up attacks. Letting you map Whoa! I don't think you can do that in the uh, two ver other versions. So you can swap, you can swap out uh, allies at will in battle. That's gonna make the secret boss fight of the angel thing that you summon with the trumpet thing a lot more fucking easier. An ancient That's pretty cool. And your destiny will be awakened. 
save the planet in Star Yo. Wars the all right, all right. As a Star Ocean fan myself, I'm on board with this. I know, I, I don't know how many Star Wars fans that can simplify some of you out there, but I'm looking forward to this remake. I know what the R stands for. It's totally remake. I'm totally going to get this game Nintendo when it comes Switch, out. November oh my 7th. god. So that would be like two versions of Star Wars uh, 2 that I own, actually. It's time to move it. Wario That's one of the announcers that's going to be like, yo, it tickles my RPG jimmies. <laughs> micro game mayhem in the latest WarioWare game. Oh, yeah. Did we have one like last year? God, how long has it been since we had the last WarioWare party game? Wasn't there one like last year and then everyone kind of forgot about it? Yo, this should, this should have been an exclusive game for the Switch. Well, I mean for launch anyway. React quickly with the right movement, and you'll be on the road to victory. Of course, Mario 64 reference, okay. If you've got two pairs of controllers, play with a friend in local co-op. Sync up your actions to beat each micro game. Plus, up to four players. Oh, they're just re-releasing Get It Together or something. Mini games in party mode. For example, this dicey board game is going to keep you on your toes. Get your body well, moving. hope that doesn't it's turn to loot fan art. Two hundred lightning fast micro games. In WarioWare. Okay, so more WarioWare games. On the Nintendo <laughs> nice to see. November third. I think we just had one last year, although my time frame might be a bit off. E um, why aren't you saying anything? He was so into it. I didn't want to interrupt. Anyway. He's so this cool. This is the latest WarioWare game. You'll use your entire body to strike different poses. And what's gonna meme it like hell now? Shaking that ass. I see you, baby, shaking that ass. To share. Families can join the fun at Nintendo Live. Families! Play games. Tell you what, let's play Batman let's Arkham City. Performances. Take photos with some of your favorite characters and more. Oh, if only I live in Seattle. On your favorite players in two championships. Eligible I can change into light. This is soon for each championship. See where that participate works. Participate in a last chance qualifier. This all ages celebration is free and will take place September 1st through. So that's why they're skipping London. That they're too busy in Seattle. Registration for Nintendo Live 2023 ends June 22nd. Head over to the official website and enter the random drawing for a chance to receive tickets. PAX West badge holders interested in attending can visit the official PAX West website for more details. All right, good to know. Those not selected um, I still don't forgive you for shutting down Smash Bros. competitions. Cups this summer, the top 10 players I think they're more open tickets. to um, doing more Please competitions the now, so... For more details. I don't know. I think there are some still there. open wounds that are left behind with the Smash Bros. Ultimate fan base, well, I guess. Vast number of players that they shut down a competition during COVID. In the Legend of Zelda, I think it was the Melee one, yeah. Which released last month. Oh, so Tears of the Kingdom is gonna have more DLC, I suppose. Oh no, just like thank you for playing it. An amiibo figure of Link from the game was released to coincide with the game's launch. New amiibo of Zelda. And I saw so much art of Zelda from Tears of the Kingdom on my Twitter timeline. They really want me to see it. Okay. This next segment will be our last announcement. Okay. Please take a look. We're getting to one more thing. What's it gotta be? Onward and upward. Oh. New Super Mario Brothers. Again? Yep. Looks like a new Super Mario Brothers game again. Oh, is it like Super Mario Run on the Switch? That's kind of what it looks like. Don't worry, it's totally an original Mario game, guys. Okay. Yeah, I suppose you a lot to um, do area of it. A bit more of a challenge. What the fuck? He looks like a peony! <laughs> they finally did it, guys. So it's just literally Mario on crack. 
That's kind of what it looks like. Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Over yonder. <laughs> okay. So it's not new Super Mario Brothers, but it's kind of almost in the same vein as new Super Mario Brothers. But it's like, nah, it's a totally different thing. Yo, Daisy, my girl, let's go. So, I don't know why, but I'm getting very similar Rayman vibes. God, Iris Mayran. Not sure what people have to say about this, because they'll, they'll probably say, oh, it's just new Super Mario Bros., but maybe not. Yahoo! It's weird how they edit it on now. I thought they are going to like be like mind-blowing, but it's like, eh. Eh, they edit it on the Mario game. All right, because why not? It's a staple at this point. We're expecting Mario Odyssey 2, but nope. Elephant Mario. Well then. <laughs> ah, no Mario on the C2. That was the brand new 2D side scrolling Mario game. Super Mario <laughs> New 2D side scroller Mario game. As if there hasn't been a 2D side scroller Mario game before. <laughs> it's like a new one. It's like, I don't know. Maybe Mario I'm getting too ahead of myself. Wonder. When you touch a wonder flower, expect the unexpected. The ground could start moving. I do like how the background sort of moves with the foreground. It looks pretty cool. There were also quite some idea, quite some ideas here. Daisy is playable. And Look how strong Daisy is. What's she? What's she pumping though? Things happen. We'll share more details in the future, so we hope you'll look forward to it. Okay then. For today's Nintendo Direct. Again, I was sort of expecting Odyssey too, but oh well. I guess I'm not expecting anything mind blowing. They kind of stumped themselves out. All right, that is the uh, Nintendo Direct. I think one of the other um, announcements that I was really in for is Star Ocean Second like Story R. Because again, I was sort of close to that game on a personal level. And there is like one other like dungeon crawler. I can't even remember the name of that, but that looks really really cool. There are a couple of games around here that I'm definitely gonna like see myself um, definitely trying out. Oh, it's Silent Hope. Silent Hope is one of the games that I'm like, oh, it looks like a dungeon crawler, but with chibi anime girls and guys. Yeah, I might try that game out. Actually, it's pretty cool. Super Mario RPG coming, I think it's remade for the Switch now. It was actually pretty cool because I thought they're going to put it on NSO. I think it's already on NSO, but they're actually remaking the entire game from scratch. And getting Yoko Shimomura to continue with the music back for it again. Yeah, I'm actually all for that though, because she's a really good composer for Kingdom Hearts anyway, and I think she's built. She's built for this kind of game. And also a new sequel for Detective Pikachu, which is very, very odd. I don't think I really expected that, to be honest. I thought it was just be like a game that had a video game adaptation for a movie that did really well in the box office. I'm like, ah, oh, that'll be it. But it's actually got a sequel. So I'm guessing the money they got for the Mario movie, I guess, is being funded to make Detective Pikachu 2 happen. And I don't know why they can't just call it Detective Pikachu 2 rather than just return. So it's like, oh well. Yeah, I think... I'm not sure how it it's going to carry the story over from one because I think it kind of ended on like a note where it's like, oh, expect a sequel soon. So it's good to see like a sequel kind of like happen. I need to replay play the first one again so that I can catch up with the story on it. I think it's just like the solve some mystery about your dad or some shit, if he's dead or whatever. But Sonic Superstars looks pretty cool as ever and I'm looking forward to it. But no, I'm not gonna get it on a Switch, I'm gonna get it on like any other platform. But we're after Mario RPG. Oh, who is the wooden um, man dude? I'm terrible with names. But I was expecting a game based around him, but no, nope, it's just a Princess Peach game. Where she dresses as Cinderella, and I hope it might be a better one than, it, than the one on the, 3D, on, the, on the DS, I hope, so. There's that to um, sort of think about. Gloomhaven, I kind of forgot about what one. Just Dance, I couldn't even give less of a shit about. Faith Farm, I mean, nah, not really my thing. Hot Wheels on H2, nah. Manic Maniacs looks enticing a little bit, but DLC, I was always expected for it. Sparks of Hope, I was expecting, like, Rayman, but I think they already announced him, I guess. I just want a new Ray Ray Rayman game, honestly. Pikmin 4. I'm going to try the first and second Pikmins. But I'm kind of shocked that Pikmin 3 wasn't even supposed to come to the Switch. I'm like, come on. I mean, do we have to buy a Wii U just to play Pikmin 3? I mean, just like we released Pikmin 3 for the Switch already. I mean, come on. You're like like five or six years into the, like, the console's lifespan and no Pikmin 3? Like, come on. 
Also, Master Chief, Metal Gear Solid Master Collection looks pretty dope, though. I'm definitely going to get it on, not the Switch. I'm gonna get it, I think I'm going to get it on the PC. But it's got a lot more added into this collection. This is just Volume 1. Imagine what Volume 2 is like. Maybe they're actually re-released re Metal Gear Solid 5 in its intended state. Because it got rushed early, like later on in development. And then there was this whole drama with Kojima and Konami. And then his name got erased from uh, the box art and shit. And Chapter 3 um, was like cancelled and shit. Which is a huge blow to Konami's reputation. So I really hope they release all of the early concept for Chapter 3. Like the cutscenes and shit. And just polish it up. Get Kojima back on the whole thing. But I doubt it's going to happen. It's my same kind of doubt when the remake announcement came out for free, where it's like, oh, they're going to recast everyone and they're going to bring the original voice actors back? Nah. This is going to, like, use the voice samples from what they had from the original three, which is weird because I think the only time where the voice acting was recast was the Twin Snakes, which was a remake of Metal Gear Solid 1, which kind of presented itself like the Matrix in a way because it was, like, 2001 or 2 and the Matrix was pretty hot on the market. So they thought, oh, let's just put Metal Gear Solid as the Matrix. Like, go, yeah. Uh, Vampire Survivors, I do need to check it out. I just hope it has a physical release on the Switch. Like, any console that has a physical release of Vampire Survivors, I would totally get that so I can preserve it. Um, this is a weird announcement. Headbangers Rhythm Royale? Not gonna lie, being a musician at heart, I do like rhythm games. Um, many of my copies of Fiat Rhythm would definitely attest to that. But... A music rhythm battle royale game? Not gonna lie, I am kind of for that. I mean, I do play battle royale games, believe it or not. I don't play Fortnite, I don't play PUBG, I don't play Apex Legends. I played Tetris 99, and I was like a champion at that. But Headbangers Rhythm Royale, I might try that out. I just hope that the net lag doesn't get in the way of my precise button props, because when it comes to rhythm games and latency with the online servers of Nintendo, that's not going to make a very good experience online. It's usually something that is properly built for offline uh, play. But if it's like online, that's going to cause a lot of problems when someone doesn't have a really good stable connection. And uh, I'm probably like later on in a year or two years perhaps, it's going to like be replaced by bots like what Tetris 99 is going for right now. Like not many people play it. So it's just you playing against a bunch of bots. So it doesn't really seep into your online connection pretty well. Penny's Big Breakaway really gives me PlayStation 1 vibes where you play this as girl that shakes enemies. So this definitely like, it's a nice addition to the whole platformer genre that I'm really want to get. Mario Kart 8, yeah, that's the thing. But Star Ocean The Second Story, seeing it remade like this is actually really fucking cool. Although, I'm not really a big fan of the artistic portraits, like of Rainer, for example. I do like the anime portraits, though. The anime portraits are actually really adorable. But I, this is just something I have to adjust to, because I'm like, yeah, it's just a style of a substance kind of thing. But I'm glad they maintained the sprites from the original games, and sort of, like, made them dynamic along with the backgrounds and shit. It's a whole 2D HD thing that definitely worked with Octopath Traveler, Triangle Strategy, and Octopath Traveler 2 and shit like that. This looks really fucking cool. I like how the backgrounds are like 3D rendered and shit, how you can change your party members at will during battle, what I think the original two game, two versions of the game didn't have that inclusion. That is really fucking cool, because it's going to make some fights really dynamic and allow us to give you more flexibility when it comes to combat and gameplay. And, and you know, it's kind of like, I'm, I'm putting up a terrible example here. Take a tag tournament two, where you get to like switch out and out of will and just tag team and shit. And I like, I kind of like this. You got like Ashton around here. You got, yeah, I think you got like Ashton there. You got Welch. Uh, oh, there were some of the people. Uh, yeah, I think it's Welch around here. Uh, Diane, like I think it's Diaz or something like that. I do remember some of the characters in um, Star Ocean 2, although not all of them. But my memory's just coming back to me though. This is definitely one I really want to pick up because I just got Star Ocean The Divine Force uh, for PlayStation 5. And I really want to get into that when I have time. Um, WarioWare, not really a big fan of that. It's just... Nintendo being hypocrites, being like, hey, we have championships, you can't have championships. Um, and of course, Amoeba figures, and they end out on Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Like, that's kind of an odd game to, like, end it out on a note. I was expecting, like, a mind-blown announcement, like, Odyssey 2. Like, I think everyone's mostly clapping for an Odyssey 2, but Mario Bros. Wonder, it's like, oh, it's new Super Mario Bros., but it's not new, new Super Mario Bros. Like, hey, what can you do? So, um... 
yeah, that is a showcase. There are definitely some announcements that I'm really like to take a look at for the majority. I'm glad this is like timestamped this way, so it gives you a little bit more memory. But with Pokemon like Scarlet and Violet DLC, of course they're gonna go this direction after a year of the game's release because they're trying to make it seem more alive. And I don't think they they announced a price tag for the DLC like last DLC they released. It's gonna be like at least forty dollars or some shit. So I don't know how Pokemon fans really feel about that. They just memed it the hell up when it came out at launch with a patch or anything. But Superstars looks pretty cool and yeah that is my long extended thoughts on the showcase so far again a couple of games i'm looking forward to but what do you guys think be sure to let me know and that is me sangal warrior and i'll see you all in the next reaction video take care guys